In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the discussion forum as a student. So when you go into your Moodle course and say you're looking around and you're looking for a discussion you want to participate in, in this case I'm going to go down to module 3 where we have our, uh, our first discussion. So first thing you want to do is always select the item so you go into it. Typically in this area you will have instructions. In this case I have both a prompt, which is what is your favorite movie, and then a the how to actually go about uh, creating the discussion creating my post and so that's what we're going to actually walk through today so when I come into this area if I have the answer to the question or I'm ready to, to start typing I'm going to go to add discussion topic and it's always going to want me to give a name or a subject to it so I'm going to just say my favorite movie is dot 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 and then in this area I can start to talk about um, my favorite if I can spell it apparently I can't so I would put in I might explain it's my favorite because and maybe a few more sentences just enough um, so that I have the information there. That's what you're doing for this discussion, but in general, if you were doing a discussion within a course, you might have a few paragraphs, and within that, you might also start to do other things. So you can play around with the text. So if I wanted to make something bold, I would use, I would highlight it, and then I would select the, the bold uh, icon right there. Maybe I wanted to, maybe I want to italicize something, so I would hit the I. Maybe I provide a list, you know, I have reason one, reason two, reason, if I can spell it, reason three. And so I would highlight those and I want this to be a bulleted list or, and maybe I want it indented or, uh, oops, I sent it the wrong way. There we go. If I want to link to something, uh, maybe I want to link to a really great article, um, you know, uh, I thought this article was insightful. Then I might highlight, you know, the text once again and select the link. And it's going to ask me what the URL is. So I'd put in, a, put in a, uh, an address. In this case, I'm just going to put in College Unbound's address. Typically, I'm going to have it open in a new window. It's just easier for people when it goes into a new tab and create link. And so now I can see that this is a link. So I can do lots of other things. I have other options here. I can insert an emoji. Um, so if I want to include an emoji to explain, you know, my what I'm thinking, I have all sorts to choose from. Maybe I'll put in this one because my mind was blown by that article. If I want to add images, I can add an image. Um, so I can find something. I can upload a file. I can come down to Wikimedia and actually search Wikimedia. So I might look for uh, Persian cats because I am obsessed. And I can choose a Persian cat that I can put into this post. So I'm going to choose this fellow right here. It'll ask me to describe the image. So I'm just going to put Persian cat. Really what I'm just trying to do is provide a, a visual, a description of what the visual is. And I'm going to save image. And now I have a Persian cat in my post. So as you can see, you can add a lot of different things. Um, at this point, I can post a form and it'll be set. I can also do advanced and it'll bring me to, it's again a very similar screen where I can attach a file if I so choose. So again, I could drag and drop another photo or some other image. In and then after that, I can post a form. And notice it'll tell me my post was successfully added and I have 30 minutes to edit it. Um, and what that means is people, Within 30 minutes, if there's anything I want to change, I can go in and change it, and after that, other people will see it. Uh, but as you can see down here, I've been successful. This is my post. Uh, it was started by me, and I'll also be told who the last person is that posted. So if somebody comes in and replies, then it would list their name. I would also get a sense of how many replies I have here. Um, I can also select this little kebab menu and star this discussion. So if I, if I always want to come back and see, this will be at the top among the others because I've starred it and I can check it. Now, say I was going in and I wanted to reply to somebody. So I looked in and here's this imaginary student and this is their post. And I'm really interested in what they have to say. I can come in and I won't have edit or delete options because this wouldn't be my post, but I can reply. So I can hit reply 
and right here it provides me, you know, I can do great, great post. But notice we don't have that toolbar that allowed us to play around with the text. If you want to use that, for instance, you want to provide some of your own links or you want to add an image of your cat, then what you want to do is come over here to the advanced menu and select that. Notice now it brings us back to this page where it provides us both now with that toolbar. I can write in some, some additional information. I can attach another file. So maybe I want to add a picture of a cat, another cat. I want to add this cat. And once I'm all set, you can largely ignore tags and I can post a form. Now my reply has been posted. As you can see, it's right there. And that's really how you use the discussions. It's it, Most likely you've encountered this in other places, um, but here we just wanted to make sure you had a kind of clear understanding. The other thing you can do is visually, where it says display replies in nested form, notice how I have this post and then this post is a little bit indented. That's telling me that this post is a reply, or this is a reply to this post. But I could play around with that order. I could, I could just have them all flat with the oldest first all flat with the newest first, or display th uh, replies in threaded form, or display f uh, in uh, nested form. So if I select this one, it's going to actually be, again, um, it shows me this, and then it shows me there's another reply here. So I would click on that, and it would bring me to the next one. Um, so just a little bit about discussions, how you might use them, things to kind of keep an eye out for. Hope this is useful. Let me know if you have any questions.